Here we introduce the Trimere Designer for our real-time fitting system. This way, anyone from an aspiring designer to an international brand can enable their customers anywhere in the world to try on their product online and to have fun with it, which is what fashion shopping is supposed to be. We developed a special designer CAD system that allows creating and editing clothing patterns from scratch or importing from the industry standard DXF ASTM format, draping 3D clothes around the 3D fitting models, controlling the physical properties of the fabrics, and exporting 3D garment models into the Trimere virtual fitting systems, desktop or online. Let's start with the 2D CAD functionality which should be pretty familiar for professionals from the fashion design industry. We can start by creating a simple dress. To do that, begin by creating a simple polyline using straight lines. Now we can add more lines, edit splines and curves. We can copy and paste the 2D patterns to create front and back pieces. Here we go, we quickly designed the dress. Now let's see what's happening in 3D. Now we can see the 2D patterns converted into 3D objects. In this case, we've created a 3D model with 4,000 vertices, or about 8,000 polygons. Now let's sew these pieces together. We select the sewing tools and easily specify which parts should be sewn together. The length of the sewing lines can be displayed as well if needed. This can be very handy when sewing complex parts together. You can also switch between centimeters and inches. You can see that the red lines in the 3D window represent the seam lines. Let's begin the simulation. See how quickly the simulation and draping take place. It's all in real time. We can view the 3D garment in wire mesh, translucent, and tension modes. This dress is designed pretty roughly and quickly, so it's obvious that it doesn't fit well, especially on the waist and on the bust, and there is gaping. We can quickly correct this by adding some darts. We can add both internal and external darts very quickly. Now we have to, of course, sew the edges together. And voila, see how it's sewed together and simulated. You can see it fits much better now. You can also see how easy it is to prototype garment designs in 3D without wasting fabric for samples. Let's check the tension map of this dress on the mannequin. We see some yellow, which shows that the dress is not overstretched anywhere. So let's try to select a larger model and drape the same dress on her. Now look
look at the new tension map. You see there is a lot of red, so it's very tight on her, and likewise if it were a smaller model, we would see mostly white. Right now we have a whole array of fitting mannequins. You can create a specified set of fitting mannequins of all the sizes you like, or you can control all of the sizes and measurements individually, or even import 3D scanned mannequins. In the Properties panel, we can set and adjust the physical properties of the garment and simulation properties. All of these parameters can be tuned up individually, including elasticity, bending, thickness, and so forth. However, in many cases, they can be pre-configured using templates for different types of fabrics and patterns. So let's select a more rigid type of fabric, and you can now observe more tension in this dress. Obviously, this fabric would be too tight for this dress and model. Let's review the process of adding texture to the patterns. Let's try it with a jeans pattern. These ones already have a texture. In this designer tool, we have a set of instruments to add and edit textures. We can add a new texture, position it correctly, and scale it. Let's create a 3D model from these skinny jeans. These jeans are J brand jeans, size 26. And now we're draping them around a size 4 model. And now we make sure that they fit nicely. Now let's export them for future use in the Trimere Tryon system. This is how they look to the end user. She seems to like these jeans. Let's create another model of jeans, a pair of Levi's. Now we repeat the same process with these Levi's jeans. You can see in the virtual fitting room that these jeans are gaping out in the back on this model as they are too straight for her body, which is curvy. This model has my measurements actually, and I always have this problem that millions of women have in finding a good fitting pair of jeans. In fact, sometimes the jeans will be the right size on me, but won't be flattering at all. With the Trimere system, we can show shoppers not only the right size for them, but also the particular style and jeans model that would fit them well and flatter them. In this case, for example, the user should try Levi's Supreme Curve jeans that would flatter her better. Here we have a Henley type long sleeve top. Notice that the sleeves are wrapped around the arms for better fitting. We also have this great freehand tool with which you can correct the fitting and move the clothes around the avatar in real time and in 3D. Our program supports importing from DXF ASTM standard file formats, which gives it the possibility of reusing CAD patterns created using other software. Let's import a DXF file for genes created in another program. Unlike our previous genes patterns, these genes are pretty long. In the 3D window, you can see that these genes hang too far below the model. So we need to choose a taller model to drape these genes and create the 3D model of these genes correctly. Now these jeans fit well. Of course, we also have a male avatar onto which you can design and fit male clothes. In this example, we take a cotton chinos pattern and drape it around the avatar. Here's how it will look in the try-on application, along with some fun gestures like playing golf. In conclusion, we are constantly improving this tool and are looking for partnerships with designers and other industry professionals to address their needs. The result will be to change your customer's experience from this 
to this. Thanks for watching.